Good morning, everyone. Bill here with KB Trucks. Good morning. What's going on, hon? We are on the island of Maui. We're in Hawaii. We are with the Twin Cities Live Tropical Hawaiian Adventure with Carousel Travel. Um, and today we are about ready to go out and do some whale watching. I think uh, my count's right. Today's day 12 for us on our trip. And it is day number 8 with uh, Twins, with uh, Carousel Travel and Twin Cities Live. And uh, today... It's been fabulous. I mean, this whole trip has just been fabulous, yeah. hasn't it? I can't go back to real life anymore. <laughs> Sorry, dogs, cat, love you. Mom, mom and dad, we love you. We're staying here forever. So as nice as all these resorts are staying and have refillable water bottle stations and try to cut back on uh, plastic use. Back down in the uh, front desk area of the resort, so nice waking up with the waterfall and the flamingos are kind of close to the uh, edge of the path here. So hopefully you can get up close to those. The koi are very active too. I wonder if they just had feeding time. Oh man, some of these koi are huge. Oh, I think this is the closest I've ever been to a flamingo. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen a flamingo swim either. Right now. I don't know. Are they coming? These are gigantic. We could probably reach out and pet them if we really wanted to. <laughs> They're touching the surface. They have a couple parrots. Uh, it looks like uh, right now you can get your photo with some of them. This is a macaw. We tried looking for these guys earlier, but they already took them out of their cages. We're going to get in line here to get a photo with the bird. <laughs> Cockatoo? <laughs> and a name? Kyoki. Kyoki. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Have you ever had a cockatoo on you before? Uh, actually, yes, I have, but it's been a very long time. First looks at the pool this morning, and we're going to walk to try to find breakfast. So, as part of our tour group, uh, they gave us some vouchers. Vouchers. And, vouchers. and we're gonna go to a pre-designated restaurant. Off in the distance, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a whale. Oh, it just breached, kinda, sorta. It's out there swimming. We've seen so many whales since we've uh, come here yesterday. It's so neat to see. I'm so excited for our whale watching tour in a little bit. We're gonna see it for breakfast, and we have our own Twin Cities Live breakfast menu. So this is the things that are included with our voucher. Get uh, one of these and a drink. I got the hash with sunny side eggs. This looks fantastic. What kind of pancakes did you get, hon? They're Mai Tai pancakes. Mai Tai pancakes and you just put a big glob of syrup on top. Yeah, <laughs> that's sliding up the plate. How was your breakfast, hon? Oh, my pancakes were fantastic. Yeah. Very uh, unique. I've never actually had a pancake Mai Tai pancakes before. Yeah, you're, the bite you gave me of yours, yeah. uh, which I had to, you know, fight away from you, uh, <laughs> was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I like my hash. I thought that was very good too. Uh, and now we're on our way to check in. Uh, we have a whale watching excursion. So we're gonna go meet in the uh, front desk area. The lobby. With the rest of our group. And we're gonna take a bus to, uh, to a boat someplace. I walked past here to get to our room to get something while after Carrie put in our name for uh, breakfast. And right about here, uh, the guy that helped us with the photos of the uh, cockatoo, he was over here giving kids uh, pellets to feed the koi. They have a daily fish feeding at 9 a.m. and that would have been about 9. We are being summoned to go to the bus, so we're following the leader. There's Doug, our fearless leader from Carousel Travel, telling us where to go. Here we go, we're gonna get on the buses. We're gonna pass through Lahaina again on the way to our excursion. Just the devastation is just so horrible. Um, all these houses, properties destroyed, lives lost. Very nice drive that we have to see the uh, scenery, this very um, blue to the right, green to the left. Here's the uh, boat that we're getting ready to board. Exciting. 
Here's the name of the group that we're gonna ride with today. This is nice, there's like lots of seating. Yes, lots of seating, little tables for us. Mm-hmm. Looking Wales. forward to this. We're looking forward for this. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna get, uh, looks like everyone from TCL on the cruise here. Captain just made an announcement. We're ready to uh, ship off. We're just giving a set of instructions on what we should or should not do on a trip. And it looks like we might have a whale straight ahead of us. There's one over there off to our right. One little correction to my grading. As far as oh, there's a tail. Oh! Shoot, I kind of just missed it. We're on the lookout for more whales. There's apparently one directly way ahead, uh, back by the shoreline over there. We're gonna head toward those. How many whales do you think we've seen so far? Five, six. It's been a few. Yeah. This has been awesome. Very active out here. That, that trip the same ones we were following are a different set. Oh. So off on the left is uh, the whale, where it's kind of white in the water, and off to the right, a little bit is a dolphin. It's kind of hard for me to get, find it. Part of our tour group, they, um, they're doing research, and so they're taking photos. And so they're trying to get the tail photos in particular, because uh, tail, the prints on the tails are almost like fingerprints, and that's how they can uh, keep track and identify whales. This has seriously been so much fun. This has been amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, we've seen so many whales and it's just so exciting. Well, they're very the, active. Yeah, I was just gonna say they're so active. They're like flipping and we have not seen a breach yet, but. Like where they jump out of the water. Yeah, yeah, but, but they're very active. So, I mean, we really haven't, we're really kind of sticking with some of the same ones, but mainly because they're just, they're so active. It's just fun to watch. Yeah. So they're pulling out a uh, underwater microphone is basically what it is. I forget the official word for it. And they're going to put it in the water and we're going to be able to hear if they're making any whale songs. Oh wow, we are super close. The speakers in the water, they're piping it through the PA. Kind of making our way back toward the dock, coming to the end. But along the way, we found another whale. So we're gonna try to see if we can uh, follow that one for a few minutes. Is that its nose? I couldn't quite tell. Understood that these animals, they do have a solitary-ish lifestyle, but not solitary like you might have heard. Got uh, two in that direction, at least. And we got another one to the left a little bit. We got a couple pods around us, really. I just want you to picture a boat with 100 kids screaming right now. Yeah. It might sound terrifying, but it's inspiring at the same time. <laughs> As we come back in, uh, we're advised to take a seat for our safety. All right, just getting off of a whale excursion. What do you think, hon? Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, I had a great awesome. time. Yeah, we're going to have a more full-length vlog as a breakout, so uh, keep an eye out for that, and we'll be a lot more detailed about that on, in that vlog. But for now, um, we are part of this tour group with Carousel Travel, and we think we're going to split off. We have yeah. the option to get off whenever. We just have to find our way back. And so what's nearby? So the Maui Aquarium is literally right behind us, or in front of us, I guess I should say. So we're going to go... Uh, see the aquarium. Across from the harbor uh, where we got off our well watching gurus and according to the sign this is uh, part of a Japanese tradition for uh, it's a guardian for seagoing people and um, basically to uh, protect uh, fishermen and people who uh, travel on the sea. We stopped in this uh, I think it's Palalea uh, general store right across from the um, the docks where we went mm -hmm. uh, on the whale watching excursion. So we got some lunch and you got... I got a barbecue pork quesadilla. That looks awesome. It looks really good. Yeah, and I got a side of french fries to split and I got fish tacos. And these just smell and look fantastic. fantastic. 
Uh, the quesadillas are 16. The side of fries are 7. And um, the fish tacos are 18. And then we got two large sodas, which were uh, 8.50 total, so uh, 4.25 each. So this was about um, 52 dollars. This is where we got lunch. Uh, now we're going to walk around. We're going to make our way to the uh, Ocean Center. All right, we're going to walk in. in. Uh, it looks like a pretty cool looking building from the outside. All right, the living reef, and right off of that, you can see into the pond that we're just looking at. Oh, that looks like a puffer fish. That's awesome. I love puffer fish. All right, officially walking in the first exhibit. And they have a reef off to the left as you come in. Be a lot of beautiful, bright colored fish in here. I was talking to the naturalist. Everything uh, in these tanks, in the aquarium is native to Hawaii. They don't have anything outside of Hawaii here. So everything you see here you would see in the wild around the islands. Uh, so coral and fish, uh, starfish, everything. This little guy is a leaf scorpion fish. He is not known to be venomous, but boy he sure looks like he could be. Also blends in very well with the uh, surroundings. This is another leaf scorpion fish. Uh, it says here that they're masters of the skies is and they blend in very well with uh, coral and rocks. Oh, this next tank has a bunch of different sharks in it. They're, uh, they're kind of small, but uh, they are sharks. Here, da na da na 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 It's actually uh, only like two feet long, that one. So that first building was amazing. Yeah, it was, and it was so just, cool. It was just the first building. Yeah. Let's see what else they have. You know, they have a tidal pool where we can touch things. We can touch things in here. Yep, they right say there. two fingers. All right, there's two types of uh, starfish. So the one on the left that is a starfish, um, just a different type. Oh, Carrie's touching a starfish. Yep. How does it feel, hon? It feels like a starfish. What does that mean? It's very, it's, it's tough. It's spiny? It's spiny. Yep. It's squishy. It's squishy? It's squishy. We got a different kind of uh, starfish or sea star. Yeah. More of a rounder one, like puffy. <laughs> oh, there's seats are right here next to us at the edge. Oh, there he goes. Awesome. Oh, there's three of them. I was so busy looking at the one, I didn't see the other two. And then they have an underwater viewing area where you can see the sea turtles swimming by. Oh, amazing. Wow. You turn. Oh. So fascinating to watch. I'm gonna go across from there. Uh, this is called Nursery Bay. Let's see what they have. There was the viewing area down there. We're gonna come up and uh, See what we can see from looking above. We might have to get a better angle because of the sun. Oh, there's a small hammerhead shark in there. Gotta head into the next exhibit. Oh, this is nice. Very uh, decorated. I keep going through. This is Hawaiians and the sea is the next area. This area is talking about uh, fish ponds. Uh, we actually visited a fish pond in our other vlog. We'll have a link above so you can see what one of those looked like in person. But the way how a fish pond worked is sometimes it was like a little indent that had a seawater or fresh water that they raised fish. If it's fresh water, they more or less raise the fish. But if it's seawater, they would have these like little uh, channels built. The way how they worked was they have the little channels and they were bamboo or whatever, like close to each other, so that small fish could get in, in here to like take cover or feed, whatever, but if they got too big, they couldn't get through the slits to go back out the ocean. So it was an ingenious way how they basically let the fish come to them to go fishing uh, versus having them go out into the ocean and catch the fish. The fish came to them. Very smart. This is an old school uh, underwater research uh, submarine that they used before. Very uh, cool looking. Uh, not a lot of space in there, you can tell. Well, they have like a shark tank. Got a bunch of different uh, fish in here, including oh, there's some uh, black tip type shark, reef shark. Oh, there's a stingray. Oh, he's a big one. Wow. It's a big stingray. And here comes another shark. Gonna go through a uh, tunnel. These are always really neat because you can see them. Oh, there goes a shark. A bunch of sharks. This is that same tank we were looking at. A moment ago, we're just in the tunnel. We have a shark go like above us there. Kind of go on the next thing, the sphere. 
A virtual underwater adventure awaits us, apparently. We're back in the one building we're hoping to catch next to show about the uh, humpback whales in the sphere. The sphere, that's it, the sphere. We're in the sphere. We're in the sphere and we're hoping to catch the next show about humpback whales. They're supposed to have like a really big theater in here. Oh wow, this is nuts. Like a big 360 degree view. Ho ho. Wow, I seriously thought that that, that movie was amazing. It was really good. Yeah. It was, it was a, so cool. Yeah, it was about 15 minutes long and just yeah. like, I really don't know. Like, was that CGI animation or was that real video? I know, I know. I mean, it oh. seemed so real, but. Yeah. I don't know, was it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it was an illusion. Anyway, that was fantastic. I, yeah. That was a great movie. I'm glad we went back to go watch I, that. I do too, yeah. Because we almost like skipped it because we're like, okay, whatever. But anyway, so um, I'm not sure how much more there is to see. I there think, is anything. I think this this is it. I think that that was kind of it. We're back at the entrance now. Just walking out of the. <laughs> I can't help it. We're just walking out of the uh, Maui Ocean Center. What did you think, hon? Oh, so cool. Yeah. It was so neat. I love it. Yeah, this was just a little snippet of our day here. Uh, we're going to have a much longer, more in depth video separate from this. So keep uh, a, a look out for that link. You okay? Yeah, the, the you know, wind. Yeah. Anyway, there's a couple shops nearby. We're going to go check those out and then we're going to order an Uber to go back to the resort. So the parking lot is shared with the Maui Harbor shop. So we're just going to walk through these. We've got a couple gift shops, that kind of a thing. Oh, this is more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, the Pack Whale Eagle Ventures, that's where we did our whale washing tour through this morning. This little mall area is really nice. It's got a couple restaurants and places that you can get a snack, ice cream. So I did a little bit of shopping. So that aquarium, I still can't get over that. It's so neat. Yeah, we were there for two hours. Yeah. And we could have been there longer if we really wanted to We really easily. could have. Like, honestly, like part of me is like, oh, should we walk through it again? But we do have dinner to get to. I would like to get a little cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, my folks would always be like, when we when we were kids going to like zoos or stuff like that, like, is there something else you want to go watch? And it was go see, and they would let us, the three of us each pick one more place. Yeah. And I, if I had to pick one, I would say the sea turtles. Yeah, the sea turtles were so cool. Oh, walking back into our resort, it was about a half hour ride from yep. uh, the from ocean the, thing. Yeah, from the aquarium. And we got about uh, an, uh, two hours until dinner. Yeah. So let's go to the room and uh, relax a little bit. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, but still, what a beautiful view when you walk yeah. in here. Uh, not the kid, the waterfall. <laughs> 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 You're okay there. <laughs> uh, uh, it hurts when I laugh now. Yeah, so maybe don't laugh. <laughs> We've been in our room for a little bit, just uh, relaxing and getting ready to go for our dinner. Uh, it's about sunset now in Maui, and uh, there's some rain up on the hills. We got a slight sprinkle down here a little bit ago. But uh, lovely evening. The birds are very active tonight. You can hear them just chirping away. So here we are, here is Mala. Um, it was the only restaurant that survived the fires in Lahaina. I met the uh, restaurant owner when I was here in uh, December doing stories about uh, the wildfires here in Maui. So I really wanted to check out his restaurant. Oh, I got seated really fast. This restaurant looks a lot nicer than the last time I saw it. And uh, got a look at the menu. There's a, kind of a menu menu if you want to take a look at that. Yeah, kind of be a tough decision to make because I got a lot of good looking uh, things here to try to decide what I'd want. And then we have great views. We're right on the side of the ocean. We're checking out the sunset that behind the island of Jason to us. It's so interesting to hear the waves of the ocean right next to us, like literally right next to us. There's very little gap between uh, the ocean and us. Oh, you can kind of see it through the screen there, how close we are to the shore. Really cool, huh? This is so cool. Yeah. It's a beautiful mirror. Yeah. Oh, there's another big one. <laughs> Got herself a couple of drinks. These are Makai Ties. And um, it's got uh, rum and uh, triple sec, lime, more rum, orange and pineapple. And the thing that's interesting, there's a pog foam. 
If you don't know what Pog is, that carries like favorite drink. It's a mixture of Pine or pineapple, pineapple, and orange, orange, guava, and guava. Or, sometimes it's passion fruit, orange, and sometimes guava. passion fruit. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of that Pog foam? That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm loving these new foams that are coming on drinks. You know. Yeah. We kind of first got the experience when we were on the Wonder last year, and but there's the a lot. There's many more cocktails now that are utilizing that. Yeah, that so was good. A, that was a pistachio foam. That was they awesome. also did the ginger one too. I like the pistachio one better. Oh, the pistachio one was amazing. We got our appetizer. We ordered some calamari. It comes with um, a dip and sauce. I love calamari. Clearly, we hated the calamari. <laughs> I mean, it was. Oh, the no. breading was perfect. Yeah, it was fantastic. All right, so for our mains, I got the filet mignon. Comes with a veggie medley, some mashed potatoes, and it is covered with a Bordelais sauce. This looks so good. I can't wait to dig in. And I got the ribeye. It comes with some, uh, I think that's broccolini and potatoes. And a uh, little, I think it's lemon butter pad. This looks fantastic. Oh, our meals were excellent. And now we're on to uh, dessert. We ordered some bread pudding with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. This looks fantastic. How was dinner, Han? That dinner was, oh, I, I can't even put it into words. I seriously, yeah. I think that was the best steak I've ever eaten in my I, life. I agree, that was very good. Oh, I can't everything, the steak, the potato, just everything, our appetizer, our dessert, the drinks. Top notch, everything. <laughs> yes, yes, very much. Well, well, we're gonna have to order an Uber. We're gonna head back to the resort. And we're back from our uh, trip to uh, Lahaina for dinner. That was amazing again. We're just gonna walk around a little bit just to see how everything's all lit up at night. Gotta take a little path that kind of goes, uh, looks like it goes behind the waterfall. So off to the right is the uh, front desk. And the waterfall is what we're walking behind now. Oh yep, that's the um, the ninth one of the world, honey. The backside of water. Where is this path going to take us? Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, this is overlooking the one family pool. Pools are closed right now, I believe. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock. It looks like there's a water slide, and that's where the water slide comes out of. This looks like uh, one of the uh, cabana. cabanas. I don't know if this is one you can just sit in or if you have to rent it. You have to rent it? Okay. Then that uh, looks like a hot tub. Hot tub. Hot hot tub and jeez. Hot tub and adult only area. Oh boy. This area is nice. It's lit. They got another hot tub. Hot tub. I'm gonna take this down and go to the uh, one elevator at the other end of the hallway from uh closer to our room. I don't really know what's back there, but they have a sign up for a private event. Looks like it's just a meeting space, maybe where they have meals and things like that. Private events, maybe weddings. All right, we are going to call it an evening. Uh, we had a very busy, very fun, very full day. Yes, that we did. And you have a favorite part, hon? Oh. No, everything was great. Like, I mean, yeah. the whale watch, I mean, all those whales, but the the aquarium was so cool mm. and seriously think I had the best dinner of my life. So yeah, everything it was just very well. An amazing day. Yeah. Uh, so something we have to address is uh, to be serious for a second. Lahaina, uh, back in this, uh, back in August, had some horrible wildfires and the town was destroyed and everything. And um, if you can, we'll leave a link uh, in the description for a couple of vetted. Um, uh, charities that you can donate to if you wish um, below and so um, again if you can uh, the town um, the residents they they're without a place to stay right now a lot of them they're still bouncing around and uh, so many lives lost so much property damage done um, and it's something we keep seeing as we drove by so mm -hmm. uh, please keep them in mind 
Uh, and this with a difficult transition, uh, we ask if you could please do us a favor to uh, subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so help us flip that number and uh, reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers. But a um, uh, beautiful day. And mm -hmm. uh, what is on the plans for tomorrow? Well, so tomorrow we have a free day. So got a couple things in mind. Mm -hmm. Do some exploring, some yeah. shopping. Uh, tomorrow night, though, uh, is our final kind of farewell yeah. to the trip. We have a dinner uh, sponsored here at the hotel by yeah. Carousel Travel. and With Twin Cities Live. Yeah, with Twin Cities Live. Travel and Adventure. Be, so. Yep, so be a chance to say goodbye to everyone before... Yeah. We all leave on Friday. Yeah, I've met a lot of interesting people on this yes. trip. So it's, it's, it's We've been had a great, great trip. time. Yeah. Yep. But we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. Please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya.